Hello, this is Sanjay Kumar. I am the department chair for CIT, Computer Information Technology. Within our department, um, we have both degree options as well as certificates. Degree, associate degree is, uh, one of the degree is uh, transferable. The other one is not transferable. The non-transferable degree is in three different areas that you can achieve. Either you can do network administration and cybersecurity, you can do computer forensics, or you can do web programming. Certificates, they are of different uh, sizes. So some are really short. Uh, you can do it in one semester. Other they can be done in two semesters. Others they can be done in three semester and so on. So certificates are mainly for people who are looking for maybe career changers. Um, they have some background. They need to build some more skills. Uh, they may have some previous um, uh, degrees. Um, so it really helps uh, meet those needs. Why should you choose IT um, career? Well, if you are looking for applying your creativity, then this is a great field to be in. If you're looking for advancement in your career, achieve higher salaries. Uh, if you enjoy problem solving. Uh, the other thing is if you're looking for flexibility, uh, such as in the COVID times, most IT workers, they were able to work from home. Um, and then it gives you a great sense of accomplishment, okay? That you are able to uh, write, create, um, and administer things and secure assets and so on. When I was in the industry, my employer was definitely looking for industry certifications. So once I had those certifications, I was employable. Uh, I, I was able to achieve a nice uh, package um, and that gave confidence to the employer that I could do the job. So all of our courses within our network administration and cybersecurity program, they map to industry certifications. And those certifications are CompTIA+, Linux+, Security+, Cybersecurity, Cisco, CCNA, Microsoft, and ethical hacking, and so on. So bottom line is, there's a good, um, a reason why certification-based training is offered here because that makes you more employable. Some of the titles for which you may qualify depending on the level of education you have achieved within CLC. Um, they could be starting out with help desk technician jobs, uh, network engineering um, jobs, and then des desktop administrator, enterprise administrator. As you keep going, you could be an ethical hacker. You could be a digital forensics analyst. So the more the number of uh, courses you take, the more you are trained, the more certifications you have, that would all translate into bigger roles within the company. As I mentioned, there are certificates which are smaller, such as desktop support technician that has only four courses. Cisco networking has only three courses. The desktop support technician can be completed within the same semester. Cisco networking, even though it's, these are three courses, it needs two semesters to complete. And then bigger certificates are 12 courses or 10 courses that you see over here. Um, so, Basically, it just uh, one certificate builds on the other, and this way you can achieve um, these certificates um, leading to associate degree. The second side of things is your web programming, or second option you have is web programming. And in the web programming, it's all about websites. And in the websites, um, there are two sides to it. One is front end, one is back end. We focus within the CIT department, the back end, heavy on server side computing, uh, involving programming languages such as PHP, Python, .NET, and any other mix of languages. And 
you can achieve both certificate as well as degree. The certificate involves nine courses. The degree has 20 courses. Some of the skills that students they can learn, um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Python, Dreamweaver, SQL, and so on. As per the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, um, the median pay is in the range of 70 to 75K. And the degree that you need to have is associate degree. And this is a much faster area of growth. The other option that you have within the CIT is programming. And the programming certificate is a pretty short program um, that has 17 credit hours. And the nice thing about this is three of these courses are transferable, such as CIT 141, CIT 142, CIT 241. And some of the skills you will be looking at as a programmer or as a programming analyst position is you'll be supporting maintaining business applications. You'll be updating, maintaining company websites and internet sites. You'll be writing scripts. You'll be creating tools to help people do their jobs more efficiently. So that is, those are some of the roles for you. Now, thank you very much for attending this session. Um, we are four full-timers within the CIT department. Eric Berkowitz, he is in the cybersecurity space. Chengi Chen, he is responsible for the programming. Robert is in the web development and I'm the department chair. And I'm also in the area of network administration. So feel free to contact any of us at the information that is given here. We'll be happy to address any of your concerns or questions. Thank you again.